Now that it's the new year, you may be looking to kick it off by building your dream at home wine selection. But which wines are the best to do it with? Joining me now to share tips and tricks when purchasing sparkling wine and champagne is Chief Champagne Officer from Fizz Champagne and Bubbles Bar, Raymond James Irwin. Raymond, thank you so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. So fantastically excited to be here. <laughs> I'm so fantastically, I love that, fantastically well, excited. We're just fizz focused around here, you know? Fizz focused. Look at you on that play on words. Fizz the season, come on. Come on, <laughs> come on just keep doesn't them coming. Doesn't stop, doesn't stop. Well, first and foremost, who are you guys? Let, let, yeah. Let's start right there. Well, I am the Chief Champagne Officer. Very honored to have that title. And uh, I founded Fizz four years ago. We ship directly to people's homes. We have an in-store location in Sacramento, a bar you can come and drink and pop bottles with us. And we're opening a new location in the East Bay in Walnut Creek. Ooh. And when are you guys opening in Walnut we're Creek? We're opening in March, so we're very excited about that. We'll be doing pre-opening events for our club members in February as well. Okay, so Raymond, when it comes to choosing the right wines, mm -hmm. the right champagnes, sometimes it can be very overwhelming. Right. But you broke it down for us today, didn't yes, you? Yes, absolutely. Fizz and Lutely. So <laughs> the big thing that I want viewers to know is that champagne doesn't have to be sweet. So many people that mm -hmm. think champagne is, is very, very sweet. And they get confused because on a label, a lot of the times it'll say, Brute, and they're like, what the fizz does that mean? <laughs> brute just means how much sugar's in the bottle. And I always say, only drink brute. Okay. Brute, extra brute, or brute zero. If it says extra dry or dry, that's actually sweet. It makes ah. no sense, I don't understand it, but that's the way it is. So always look for a bottle, and it's amazing. It's really easy to find. On every label, it'll say, brute, extra dry, what have you. So that's the first thing, drink brute. Drink, drink brute, brute only, brute, right? Brute, 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 got brute it. For brute. Mm -hmm. The next thing you really wanna look for is who the fizz is making this, right? Because there's so many producers, people don't realize in champagne, there are thousands of producers of champagne. So we really try to focus on small producers, grower producers, think of farmers. Mm -hmm. People that are actually in the farms, their hands, you see the green on it, they're wearing dirty jeans. Those are the people you wanna look for. How do you find that? Récoltant manipulant. Oh, what a, right? what a, yeah, what a? You, can, you can say that, I know you can. <laughs> it just means grower producer. So mm -hmm. on any bottle, You'll see it. It'll say Récoltant Manipulant, Récoltant Manipulant, just right on the oh, label. Wow. I want to actually RM. show this. Can yeah, I take please, this from you? Please. I want to show it to our viewers here. So it's right here at the bottom. And you want to pronounce that for me? I'll do it in the, in the American English. Récoltant Manipulant. So okay, that just perfect. means grower right producer. So look for that. That's really what we like to feature. And this is Bourgeois Boulonnais. They're a small producer in one of my favorite champagne villages called Vertu. And I've been privileged to go to the Champagne region in France about 14 times. We take wow. people to Champagne. So we do Champagne trips as well that you can join us on that we'd love to have you. So you can really discover these small grower producers. And that is the main difference, right? Between yeah. Champagne and sparkling wine. Exactly. Sometimes Sometimes people don't know the difference. They don't, you're right. And how you can easily find that is just even looking at these bottles here. It says champagne. They won't trick you. If it has the word champagne on there, it is champagne from the Champagne region of France, nowhere else. Wonderful. Right. Now, when it comes to some of the products that we have over yeah. here, tell me about this exclusive little box that people can have access yeah. to. Yeah, so we love this. This is our, our, our Shamplers, we like to call it. This is our subscription box can be hand delivered to your door, featuring two incredible bottles of champagne uh, and sparkling wine as well. So in this box, we have one from uh, Christian Madel. I visited him in Austria two days after Christmas last year, um, and we met and I tasted his sparkling wine. I said, we have to bring this back to California. The next one is Champagne Collin. I've met with them several times in France, very high end. They share the same parcels as Cristal. So, oh, wow. but without the same price. So it's, it's a very, very good value, long generation family. And so we love to showcase these bottles that you're not gonna find in the store, mm -hmm. really unique and boutique bottles. I love that. Now, come on, it's live in the Bay, which means we want to try some of we this We want to pop some fizz, am I right? Can we pop some fizz Let's and get try fizzy a couple with of it. these? Come on, Let's Olivia. get fizzy with it. Hey. I am loving okay. these. So, on work. Just physisms, as we like to say. So <laughs> another thing someone, uh, our, our guests at home should know, our viewers, is the proper champagne glass, because you really want to taste what you're drinking, right? Now you know something not too sweet. Now you know grower producer. The glass is so important. The glass. Do we see this? Do is that not beautiful? Look at that gorgeous shape. This is called a tulip, as you can tell. Uh -huh. This is perfect because you get the height like you would with a flute, but you get the aromas because you have to be able to smell. What a lot of people don't know is that 75 to 85% of what you taste comes from what you smell. So you'll really? lose so much if you cannot get your nose in there. Oh my goodness, I did not know that. Wow, I that's know. That's actually very crazy. Okay, so I'm always a little nervous to pop the bottle. That's why I'm well, leaving it to you, the Okay, expert. you know what, you got this. I'm not a mother fizzer, I promise. I won't fizz this up. <laughs> All you have to do is you hold it from the bottom, Olivia. Uh -huh. You don't pop from the top. 
okay? Because okay. that's when the fun stops. You pop from the bottom. You hold here, my thumb's on there, index finger. Don't be afraid, I promise. Cameraman's good too, okay? We're all gonna be fine. <laughs> and we just slowly twist from the bottom and then it's gonna come up super quiet. Super now what that quiet. does is it keeps wow. the bubbles in the bottle. Oh and then let's gosh. do okay. a little pouring, shall and what, we? And what is this one we are trying today? This is coming from a champagne house called Joseph Perrier. This was one of the mm -hmm. favorites of Queen Victoria and Prince Albert. And they've wow. uh, been a favorite of the royal family ever yeah. since then. I visited there. There's even video on their Instagram, or as we like to say, Fistogram, of me salsing in their caves in champagne. It's crazy. <laughs> well, let's cheers to that. Cheers. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Mmm. Oh mm. my goodness, that mm. is absolutely delicious. I'm so glad I was able to taste that here. Never well, gets old. <laughs> it truly never does get old. Well, thank you so much, Raymond, for joining us thank here you, on Live in the Bay. It was an absolute blast. I wish I could do the wordplay <laughs> like you, but I just don't have it. I'm sorry. No worries. Next time. <laughs> to learn more about Fish Champagne and Bubbles Bar, we'll have a link on our website at liveinthebay.tv.